Now, if we look at the flow of how to handle a question, it can go something like this. You may get some criticism or you may get some praise. Both are possible. In either case, you need to frame the answer. So when you frame the answer, that means you need to kind of repeat and say what it is we're talking about. Now you may postpone the answer or you may answer the question. If you postpone, you're telling the questioner, I will get back to you. I'll talk to you later. I'll send you an email. Maybe we can meet later. Or it could be, I don't have that information here. I can look it up and give it to you though, postponing to a later time. And then you check back with the questioner to make sure everything is okay, that they are satisfied with your answer. So that's kind of the flow that we can use for handling questions. The second part of responding to the question requires the speaker to stay positive. Putting the answer into context, or what I like to call a frame, frame is like a window frame, right? Like the window frame inside the window. You look out the window, these are the things you see. You don't see things on the side or on the top, you just see through the window. So the question is kind of like a frame. It's this space here, not over here, not everything, it's this space here. And by speaking with the questioner, you help to make the frame clear. So if they're asking about your research methodology, then you can frame it about methodology. If they're asking about your sample, then you can frame it about the sample. So this framing is quite important. And then of course you need to give an answer, usually some kind of actual answer or postpone the answer.